As always, there's a lot to see at CES this year, and let's talk about some of the coolest things. What did you see that you loved? I mean, as always, uh, CES is a launch pad for TVs, so this year you had 4K TV from all the major manufacturers, but some of the ones that stood out were the 110-inch TV from Samsung, was especially beautiful, and then Sony put out a 4K TV that was combined with OLED technology for a beautiful, beautiful picture. Well, I saw something that could sound gimmicky, but I saw it and loved it. I went to a demo with a company called Tactus. Right. They make a technology that you take a tablet mm -hmm. or a phone, it looks just like a regular one, but when you pull up the touchscreen keyboard, it actually raises up the keys, so they're tactile. It's not like a you know, computer keyboard, but they're kind of like squishy keys, and it makes it much easier to type on. And then when you're done, you kind of move away from the touchscreen keyboard, the keys just go back into the screen. It just looks like nothing was ever there. It really looked magical. It was great to see something like that that actually worked, because yeah. you see a lot of prototypes that don't work so well. Razer, which is a gaming company, came out with a gaming tablet, which is a full-powered Windows 8 tablet that has a discrete NVIDIA graphics card in it, which is something that's unheard of you know, for tablets, which are generally low-power, light, slim devices. And they made a tablet that's a little bit heavier. It has fans, it's a little bit louder, but it can play all the current PC titles. They released an array of accessories with it, which includes uh, a sort of rig that has game controllers on it, and so it really is like having a giant portable gaming device but then you can pop it out and it just becomes a normal tablet. So that was really awesome. It's interesting to see the way that gaming is shifting and changing according to the technology that's coming out now. So that was neat. 